Hi everyone, and welcome to our first episode of Ask a Connexpert Q&A, where we think outside the blocks and answer all of your Connects related questions. My name is John, and I'm the lead Connects designer at Basic Fun, and also your friendly neighborhood Connexpert. All right, so let's get right into it. Let's look at our queue here, and our first question is, how do I use both Classic Connects and Micro Connects together? Okay, so that's a really good question. And so to answer that, I'm gonna use two different sets here. The first one is our 10 model fast vehicle building set. This one has 96 parts and it's all micro and you can build a motorcycle, a dune buggy and the works. So it's really a fun, great starter set. And I'm also gonna use our 522 piece click and construct tub. This is a great set for any Connects fan. You can build 35 models and it includes classic Connects, micro and transition pieces. And that's really the key to making all this work. So let's get right into it. Okay, let's first start off with the fast vehicles building set. All right, let's open it up. Got the instructions, bag of parts and the box and we can put this off to the side. What I tend to do is take a clear plastic bin, just like this, cut the bag open and pour those right in. That will make the parts much more accessible. Okay, so from here, it's fairly easy to see how the micro pieces go together. Just like the classic size connects, a rod will snap into a connector, just like so. So then what I'm gonna do is take the transition pieces from the click and construct. So I've got transition rods and transition connectors. So if I take one of these transition connectors, I can snap on just like so, and then I can take a classic rod and there you go, it's easy as that. And then, just like the connectors, if I take these transition rods, I can go from micro, and then I can take a classic yellow connector, snap on just like so, and that's all there is to it. There are a few other examples of transition pieces, and even just in this set alone. So when you look at one of these hubs, you may think, okay, I can put a tire over that, that makes sense but you can also use this as a transition piece as well. If I take that same yellow rod, I can insert that into this end of the hub, and then I can take a micro rod and connect that into the other end just like this. Another common transition piece is often found for our coasters. This is our micro eight connector with a classic through hole. And so that works just like so. And then I can put micro rods all the way around. Now, if you're in a case where you don't have any transition rods from another set, that's still not a problem. What you can do, so let's say if you have something like this, you can still take your micro rods and do something just like this. All right, so I have two micro five connectors. And then what I can do is just slide these through the spacing of the classic connectors. And then I can just close the other end. And there you go. And maybe if you wanna use the standard size holes of the connectors, you can take the micro spacers, slide these over, and then I can just do that. And there it is. I hope this has been helpful. For more tips and tricks, tune in to the next episode of Connects Q&A.